Welcome to Talking About Computer Science. Today we are going to see how to build this line chart using Python Pandas, how to plot two different data series and to analyze the difference between them. It will be quite simple to do with Python and we are going to see that now. Take a look here in the code. The whole code fits in this piece of my screen because using Pandas we don't need to do a lot of coding to plot this line chart. Basically what you need here, after importing the dependencies, the pandas and the pyplot class, we just need to create the series objects from pandas. So we create the data for the first series, then another series object for the another set of data. So here we have one example, like one series is for the control group and the another series is for the experimental, experimental group. Like we have two different groups that have different values and we would like to compare both groups. Then we are creating here the series object using just this simple constructor that we inform the data and we inform the name. The name is not mandatory, but it is nice to inform because it is appeared here. Then we know what is the group related to the blue line and what's the group related to the orange line. So th that's because we, I have set a name related to each series. But it's not mandatory, then it not present the, the name of the series here if you don't inform that. Okay, but for we see this presentation, we have to inform in this plot method, the legend parameter with true. Just for you to take a look, if we take out this legend, take a look what's going to happen with the first series. It just do not show its legend. So if you want to present in this line chart the data line and its name, we have when called the plot method to parameterize the legend attribute with a true. The plot method is not responsible for plotting the chart, but it's responsible to prepare that to be presented. So that's because we inform this parameter here, because the chart will be presented actually in this show method. Just here, the screen is opened. But how the data will be presented, it depends the parameter we inform in the series constructor and in the plot method. So basically we do the same both for this first series named control group and for the second series named experimental group. Once both series are read, we just call the, the show method of the pyplot object. What the show method do? Observe that we don't parameterize the show method. It has some optional parameter that's not often utilize it, so we just call the show method. When we call that, it looks in the memory where are the data to be displayed. And this data is defined, is written by this plot method. So when I call the plot method for series one, I'm informing I would like to present the data of this series in the chart. If I don't call that, let me comment this line. If I don't do that, the only series that will be presented will be the second one for the experimental group. Even the series object existing, once I have not called the plot method, the chart do not know it exists. If we execute again that, observe here, we have now just one chart, just one line in the chart, because the, the another line was not prepared to be displayed as well. Okay, then that's because we uncomment this line and now we are going to see two lines presented together. Then it will make possible the comparison, like we could make some analysis, like the control group begins smaller, then it becomes bigger, but after the point four, the origin from experimental group becomes bigger again and maybe that's the tennis for the future. So some kinds of analysis is possible to do based in this kind of chart. Another important thing is these labels here in the Y and X 
um, edges. These labels are not mandatory. It's because we have parameterized that here with X label and Y label. If we take out these parameters, the chart will be displayed, but without these names. Okay, we could call that again. And as you can see, there is no label in Y and X axis. So what we have to do, if you want to, to inform a, a legend, a label here, we need to parameterize the plot, the plot uh, method with this, this information. Please observe, you, we have to inform that just in the last one. We could also have informed that here, but it should be overwritten by this call, right? So like this, this title here, comparison. This title comparison is not the title of the series. The series has the name, experimental group. The title is the title of the full chart. So not from one specific series. So executing here, you can see that the comparison label, it's not related exactly to this experimental group. No, it's general for the, the full um, chart. So um, the, these parameters for the global stuffs make sense just in the last object we ask to be displayed. Okay, this code has the, the link to be downloaded in, in the video description. You can just download that and execute that in your computer. Please observe we have these dependencies here. If you are using PyCharm or another similar IDE, you can just come here in the dependencies and take a look here to download that. I have here downloaded the matplotlib and I have downloaded our pandas. So if you have not downloaded that, you can just click here and it will be a install button like this one to, to be installed. Right? Thank you for watching. See you next time.